You may have noticed that prices have been coming down in Austin since about June. Are we at the bottom or is it gonna keep going down? Jeremy at the Nine Group, your favorite Austin realtor. So when the numbers came out for September, I was a little confused because there were some things that didn't line up. In fact, so much so that I reached out to Texas A&M who does the data for this and the PR company that puts these slides together for the Austin Board of Realtors. And I reached out and was like, what is the deal? So today what we're gonna do is go through and talk about some of the issues that I have with the data that's coming out. We're gonna look through that. We're gonna look at the October numbers as well. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing in the market. So do me a favor, before we do that, drop a comment below. Do you think this is it? The market is gonna continue dropping or are we about to level out? What do you think is happening in the market? I do wanna hear from you because you're the one purchasing or potentially purchasing. So let's hear from you in the comments below. Okay, here we go. So when the numbers came out for September, I noticed something that was a little glaring. Number one, the prices from really June to September started off at 575 for the median for Austin, all the way down to 525. That's a pretty big decrease in the overall uh, price of homes. I mean, 50 grand is about 9% decrease just for the city of Austin. You know, most agents are gonna say, hey, by the way, it's up 28% year over year. I'm looking at the month to month data because I like to look at that. Month over month, we are down. Oh, and by the way, Texas A&M and the PR firm never responded to me. So if you know anybody at Texas A&M that handles the data for Austin Board of Realtors, have them reach out. I'd love to chat with them and discuss what we're gonna talk about. So when I looked into the data, here's what I saw. Month over month over month, the dollar amount of closed sales for new construction has dropped. That kind of confused me because the reality is we have a lot of clients trying to buy new build right now and buying new build, it's, it's, it's challenging. It's not easy. It hasn't been easy. But if you look at the August to September numbers, it dropped from 41 down to 421, which I found a little odd because more homes actually sold. In fact, $20 million worth more of homes actually sold. When I looked at this, I noticed that a specific neighborhood sold a lot of homes. In fact, we saw a pretty good jump in the number of new construction homes that closed. And a lot of those were in the neighborhood that DR builds called Tiermo. So what I'm seeing with some of these new build sales is that some of the stuff that went under contract a few months ago is finally closing. And some of these uh, neighborhoods that were a little more affordable like Tiermo, Parker Station, and those were a lot of the actual closed. Now I can't show you this information and, and partly because I don't, it's a non-disclosure state, so I can't really show it to you. So I do feel like that is an impact now, if you take that out, the, the resale homes was about 540, which was on par with the month before. So it wasn't that much of a drop month over month if you look at just the resale prices. So all of that does impact the numbers. So if we look at October, what I'm noticing in October is if we take everything that's closed right now, this data that I'm about to show you isn't fully complete because really I should be waiting another week or two to get the full closed data. So I'm giving you what I'm seeing right now. This is subject to change. It's Friday. All the Friday closings for the last of the month haven't really gone through. So I'm prematurely giving you information here. I'm letting you know that now because I'm trying to be honest with you to show you what I'm seeing. So don't harp at me that I'm lying to you. I'm showing you what's happening. The reality is, is that a lot of realtors take a few days to put their listings and their closed sales in. So some of this data might not really show up as closed until late next week or the following week. So far, and this pans out for every day, I've been watching this every day, is so far the total sales are showing about 575K, which is much higher than the median than we saw last month. We saw 525, I'm showing 575. Now, I don't think that's gonna end up around 575. It might end up a little bit lower than that, but that's what I'm seeing for right now. Now, the second thing that I'm seeing is the fact that new construction rose pretty high. The closed sales for new construction show about 717 median closed. In last month's numbers as well, we saw about roughly about 128 closings on new builds. Maybe a lot of those will show up today and into next week numbers, so this might come down as well. So I'm being honest with you, these numbers will most likely come down from what I'm showing you. 
revenue. The other thing that I saw is that the resale, just resale, if we look at just resale, is 570, which is about 40 grand higher than we saw last month's resale. So maybe it ends up at 30, 35 once all the final numbers come in. But I think we're only gonna see about 1,100 closed sales. So when those numbers come out next, next month, it's probably gonna show year over year we were down in sales again, and this is why. Overall, hopefully I'm right. This video might not age very well, but I think the October numbers are gonna be considerably higher than what we saw for September. And here's what I saw in October. So again, I could be fully wrong. I'm admitting that to you. I just wanna give you what I'm seeing in the market right now. And hopefully you'll make up a decision for yourself, whether it's time to buy, whether it's time to sell, if you're gonna hold, whatever. That's, that's up to you. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. Editor's note here, I went back and pulled the numbers. Today's Monday. So for where we are about 1,100 sales is what, is what I saw or what I was expecting. Secondly, I noticed that there's quite a few more TRMO new builds that closed on Friday, which actually brought us down from that 717 down to 655, which is kind of what I predicted. And then looking at the resale, it stayed about the same, about 570 closed. So I think we might see over the next couple of days as more of that stuff hits that might drop it down. But I do think that we will be over that 525 mark that we saw for September. But what I saw in October was this really towards the last part of October, I've had several clients writing offers on properties and everything we're running into seems to be running into multiple offers. I was down in San Marcos, a property that was listed at 325. Literally, there's a line of cars down the road, five acre property, the house was in awful shape. That's what I'm talking about. Client doesn't show up on time and then people walking ahead of us. It's <laughs> crazy. I mean, here's the deal. This house is five acres in San Marcos, listed at 325. So is that really competitive, you know, price point? This is marketed as a fixer upper. Like this is not marketed as a ready to go, brand new, ready to go home, but it's on five acres, 325. I mean, this house is gonna sell for, I don't know. I don't even know what this house is gonna sell for. It's crazy. If you look at the comps, like one thing will sell for 10, 15 grand over list price. The next will sell for like, you know list price next one will sell under list price and then you come to this five acres and it's a line of people i don't know why people think that i'm lying to them about the market i mean look at this now there's five cars here not one's my client now we've added about three more cars to the line of cars in this house that needs a lot of work we just finished walking this house and it needs when i say a lot of work there's a lot of work and then there's this house. Um, the other thing that I saw is that I've had a couple investors looking at properties and everything we're seeing that's good properties uh, is, is seeing multiple offers there as, as well. And that's right under that 400 mark. I had a client write an offer on a property at 665. We went over list price on it. It was a decent house, great home. And uh, we got beat out quite a bit over list price. So that's kind of what I'm seeing for October is it did, I feel it did pick up. I'm starting to get more people reach out to me right now. So that could be meaning that more people are buying, trying to buy before interest rates go up. I don't know, but I, I think that might be an issue. I mean, I'm still trying to find properties as well. So what do you think? Are, are you seeing the market get hotter? Do you think it's gonna keep getting cold? I really do wanna hear from you because you are the ones that are watching the content. I wanna get your feedback. We'll catch you in the next video. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group. Thanks.